I'm here though. Oh, what's good? We set up, bro. All right. We set up. We on, oh, man. Finally, it's been what? A year? I see you. Probably Honestly. Year, yeah. And we got that song still sitting. <laughs> I'm talking about that. Oh, what's yeah. good, everybody? It's Where your boy it? Chuck Diesel, the Mom Wolf. Coming to you with another episode of Sake Sundays, sponsored by Sake High. You know, your gluten-free, natural, healthy alcohol. You feel me? And you can get this order to your doorstep. All you got to do is go to sakehigh.com and figure out how to do so. Came all the way from Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto, Japan. And I got to say thank you for everybody who's listening to my song, Sake, which <laughs> dropped the 11th of January. And one more thing, a thank you to God's Favorite Jewels for providing a gift for you, bro. Oh. At the end of the show, I got something to give you. Oh. Well, you see, I got these bracelets right here. Oh, I see those. Yeah, you rocking them. This is mahogany. This is uh, amethyst. And then this right here is black onyx. Mm -hmm. So I got some black onyx for you. Let's get it. Let's go. I needed some new stones. <laughs> but that brings us to who we even have with us here today. This is my homie, Dal Poeta. Cracking, yo. <laughs> oh, boy, tell the people about yourself. Where you from? What you do? Dal Poeta, uh, 700 Block Records, uh, Costa Mesa, California. Y'all already know. Um, you know what I mean? That's right. Uh, and it's, uh, again, congratulations to you and, you know, doing your thing. I see uh, a lot can happen in a year. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, but man, congratulations, bro. Honestly, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. And man, again, we ain't for a good one right now. <laughs> sure, bro. I'm happy you came. You're actually one of the first artists that I like met okay. and locked in with out here for real. Oh, word. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because you were from, yeah, you've been everywhere already. Bro, I'm from Ohio. <laughs> so I'm far, far from here. And then I was in Washington. There you go. Right before I met you. So, man, and what to OC. How does, I was going to say, how was that? Like, how was that for you? Oh, bro. Moving from Ohio to Washington was, it was whatever. But then moving to OC from being in both those places, yeah. I'm going to just say this. Within 24 hours, I was like, bro, I need a new car. <laughs> hey, yes, I don't fit in. It's you out here, bro, it's I was in an 08 Chevy, bro. I had an Impala. And I like my car, you feel me? Like, it was like... Was, Come on, what's your whip, bro? You mean, all walking. leather interior, heated seats, moon roof, like, Bluetooth. Like, I was good. Listen. I, I, I own it. Like, I, on. bro, I pulled up. I whipped the block. I pulled into my neighborhood. And then I pulled into my complex. And I was just like, I need a wash, a polish, and maybe even an update. Like, I think the oldest car I see is a 2016. Uh, <laughs> hey, where, where'd you move into? I moved to Newport. Oh, bro. Well, yeah, I live right there. Remember, like, some stuff like Come on, bro. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, dog. Bro, everything is just pretty. So, yeah. Everybody yeah. is, like, clean. They mm -hmm. are presentable. And not to say everywhere people aren't. Yeah. It's just, like, everybody is more in their head about how they present. Yeah. Where where I'm from in Ohio, like, you'll see people outside in their pajamas. Like, yeah, yeah, it yeah. is what it is. Like, that's yeah. normal. Yeah. And so, no. you'll see me outside my pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's boozy, bro. It's boozy. But I, when I, I seen mean, everybody look like they was going out, and it's 12 o'clock on, yeah. like, a Tuesday, yeah. oh, damn, bro, you better clean up, G. Dog, so. it's real. It's real, man. I just took my kids. I moved them to schools. You know what I mean? I, I took them to the, the Newport district now. Like, I mean, well, there, it's all Newport Mesa, right? I mean, yeah. no, no disrespect to the school system. You know no, what I'm saying? Sure. But you could tell the the readiness in certain places. You, you know, know what yeah, I'm saying? It's different, bro. It's different. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's something that I actually was talking oh, about. Man. Yeah, here. Oh, let's do this. Man. Let's sip yeah. some green tea. That's right. Shout out to my man, Buddha. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, it's the new little teapot for the show. Mm, yeah, that's yeah. But uh, I was talking to uh, Willie J, the artist, bro, mm -hmm. just about schools and the school system and kids and stuff. I'm just mm -hmm. like, it's hard to grab the attention of kids now, bro. Yes. It was already hard, but like with everything that's going on mm -hmm. and then the way that the curriculum is, because like, bro, we were just talking about school is like he was like yo bro we was in the same classes like how did you not it's like it's easy to not pick up the information especially when it doesn't apply anymore yeah because we didn't feel like certain things applied then like christopher columbus did not find nothing right right yeah, yeah. of course yeah yep. Yeah. so like i just said i just moved to cali in the last three years ish mm -hmm. i was applying for this job where i was working at schools yeah and i had to be able to tell them about the history of california and how it became American territory. 
Oh, snap. No, what's up with this story? All this, are you telling me it never really became American territory? Like, nah, what the, it was just passed stuff. over? Like, and they claimed that for forever? And that's what they're teaching to the people who yeah. live here are from here? This doesn't make sense. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me tell you some shit then right now, bro. You just... Hey, let's take a shot. Let's do this, man. Oh, let's, look, this is nice. <laughs> Okay. Right. Super smooth. Oh wow, that's a lot. I was expecting a little. Uh, no, it's a, no, it's like it's it has a little kick. Yeah. Just to let you know, it's not water. No, 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 no. But you it tastes like chips. No, 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 exactly. I was yeah. gonna say it's like these are dangerous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can drink. That's what I tell pain. people, bro. They're you could have told me that was coconut water and just bro. gone bad, <laughs> and I would have been like, oh yeah, it's so <laughs> smooth, bro. I've not even that. It tastes amazing. Yeah. It's dangerous. And you just drink it like it's juice, and next thing you know, you drunk. <laughs> Bro, this is a man. Yeah, bro. 15%. Yeah, bro. And this little thing? Yeah. You drink two of these? <laughs> yeah. For you, feel me, to start? You feel yourself. You know? You me? No. But no, what were you about to say? You said this. Bro. So, I was hearing about, like, in, in Hawaii, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's always been, you know, the talk of everything, right? Because of what happened, you know, yes. you know, again, press to those people, of course. And we're, we're actually starting a donation thing. No I'm, so I'm opening up a shop out there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm opening up a pretty much a 700 block clothing store. But oh, I'm also, that's dope. yeah, I'm printing, but like we're printing stuff in the back. So also making like, um, you know, of course, the tourist attraction place, but like, you know, people, uh, there's like no no disrespect. There's just none. Of, there's no new streetwear style. It's all like, you know, what you kind of expect. You know yeah. what I mean? So. And those are from people that were there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my homies, people I met at the airport, I saw, you know, another, it was Rasa, you know, and he right away, he recognized me. He's like, I mean, he didn't recognize me because I don't know him. Right, right. But he was, like, pointing me out. He's like, hey, where are you coming from? Like, you know, yeah. and I'm like, oh, from Cali. And he's like, no, I said, I'm from Hawaii. He's like, no, you're not. He's like, right away, because I tried to play it off. He's like, no, like, I've lived here for 11 years. Like, I've never seen you. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I was like, okay, I'm not. Point is, though, but... Like, that's how you could tell, bro. Like, people are that connected, that close. Oh, yeah. And I, he's like, what are you doing out here? I'm like, well, honestly, I came out to, like, I, I came out here because my boy, shout out to the homie Gorilla, what? He just took me out on a 24-hour trip. He's like, hey, bro, let's go to Hawaii for 24 hours. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I don't got my kids these days. Like, I mean, you know, they shout out to the baby much to care of him. And I was like, let's go. All right. One, just one day. We left freaking that morning, got back the next day in the morning. You know what I'm saying? But... Point is, I fell in love with the island. Like it's just yeah. so beautiful, bro. It's 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 a calling. Like you get into that ocean, and bro, you don't want it. like you you started watching the ocean from like walk like from the sand. Next thing you know, you're already in the water. Right. right? It's like captivating. Bro, like, it's yeah. um, like, and then the homie told me that's like supposed to be like the the Earth's heart right there. Bro, you know yeah. so, that kind of makes sense. Bro. Literally, just last night I was listening to a high level conversation. Shout out mm. to the boy Nineteen Keys, bro, okay. and Billy Carson. Mm. And Billy Carson, bro, was saying that he got to a point in his life where he was in a bad space. Mm -hmm. And one day he went, he took a walk by the beach. And mm -hmm. he said he lived there for okay. years, at least three years, five mm -hmm. years. And that one day, bro, he said after he was walking on the beach, he just felt like mm -hmm. calm, peace. Like it changed everything, not changed everything, but his headspace yeah. was different. And he said, after that, I began walking mm -hmm. on the beach almost every day. Wow. Sometimes five, five mile walks, bro. And he'll go barefoot too. Just because the sand in the water, bro, and it's they were just saying, bro. yeah, like mm -hmm. if you walk barefoot, the uh, energy, yeah, the ground exchange, bro, mm -hmm. and it was like all the negative energy will come into the earth. You feel me? Oh, it's like, like, like away. Yeah. oh, that's it's like not necessarily anything happening to you. It's just the natural reaction of all the, the minerals and all that you're using it. That's just taking so, it out of you. And that, so you feel refreshed after. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's cool. Or maybe I need to go walk barefoot again. Because mm -hmm. I will say, bro, if you go and sit by the beach when it's not noisy and you just listen to the waves and stuff, that's so, so it's so beautiful. If you get lost in it. Yeah, no, honestly, yeah, bro. I, 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 I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, that's... Off top, and I'm kind of sad that I live like 10 minutes away and I you never go. go. <laughs> hey, this is your sign to start going more. Bro, far. yeah, I mean, you know, thank God, hope the Lord, I got to go to, um, you know, see the Hawaiian oceans and stuff. And again, once the homie showed me that, but man, it's, it's, it, it really was like captivating. <laughs> no, you just said, I'm doing a lot, right? Yes, sir. Are you Muslim? I've been studying them more. As you can tell, bro, from my tattoos, and I study a lot of different, like, cult, like religions and beliefs. 
Um, I'm not religious. I'm just spiritual. You know what I mean? And I read so many different books and different backgrounds. Like shaman, I read. I I read a lot of shamanism. Not a shaman book. Well, I mean, look, it's. I wouldn't like. It's crazy because it was. This was considered technically fiction, right? Uh, The ones I'm reading right now are uh, the Carlos Castaneda series, right? I recommend you read those. Bro. No, I was about to ask you if I could get a book, bro. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, stop, dude. The ones that blow your mind are the second one and the third one, bro. The third one right now, it's so like synchronized with what I'm doing that it's not even funny, bro. Like, I literally, I, I won't. If I'm stuck, I'll read that book. Yeah. Because it just like it just makes you start thinking. Different, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you that's what your mind is. That's what your brain is for to think and use and yeah. use it. So you got to use that. And, bro, you just, like, the stories you hear in that, bro, like, this guy from shape-shifting to teaching him all these things. But the point is, like, yeah, I st- like, I just read a lot of different cultures. And, like, you know, recently, like, well, for, since forever, I mean, I've all, like, a lot of the rappers that we listen to are Muslim. You know what I'm no, saying? Yeah. And a lot of them... Oh, you think is we don't really... No, no, no. We don't know. We don't pay attention. Nah. It's like, Jay-Z, I didn't realize that this nigga was yeah. more Muslim than anything, yeah, bro. But Jedi Mind Tricks the underground, you know what I'm saying? You the rappers me? talking about bro. all that. Yeah, bro. And that's another thing that I feel like we've lost touch with when it mm-hmm. comes to music and music history is just like, people be like, Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. Yeah. But bro, do you understand that these men were talking like multi-dimensional things? Bro, I got like, the Wu-Tang manuals, bro. They were on Islam. And they described all that, like, Allah, like, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. I'm like, I didn't know that. And I just, and I learned that through hip-hop. Thank God for hip-hop. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, reading that, I was like, yeah. oh, okay. So it's, it's a whole different thing. But my business partner is Muslim. So everywhere we go, you know, like he, he'll do his prayers, you know, and I'm just right there next to him and yeah. I listen to him and I'll start praying too, you know, I just, because, bro, that's what keeps us mo- like moving to be honest. That's like my, our recharge, bro. Like, and I mean, right now it's just, I've been learning so much. Like I came up with this cool bar and it's just like, so, uh, some thank for, some pray for, others sit around and wait for, you know, and like, it's, that's just, I don't know how, what you take from that where you will, you know what I mean? Like, it's so much to get it to explain that, but it's just like, I don't know, it's just as simple as it is. Some people pray for, like, you know, like, uh, they just ask for things, right? Yeah. And some people don't give enough thanks, or others don't do enough, just ask, ask, or only, like, turn to God out of fear, yeah. you know? And then then there's, like, I feel like I haven't, like, like hitting this, like, certain realization where I'm like, man, all I got to do is thank God, because I've been good. Like, I just yeah, didn't bro. notice it. Bro, and that's so, you know? <laughs> that right there, bro, shout to that. Oh, man, let's do <laughs> that. This mixture is amazing, by the way. <laughs> it kind of ties in mm-hmm. to um, one of my last guests. Shout out to Nikki, okay. Nikki T. And okay. we were talking about being grat- gracious, bro, and gratitude with optimism. And so once you shift and start thinking about that side of things and you're thankful, mm-hmm. you, like you said, I was already good. I yeah. didn't realize it was good. Yeah. So it was already good. <laughs> now that I realize, yeah. I could lean into that part of it more. Mm-hmm. As opposed to if it's, all right, say it was going good. Right. If something bad happened, mm-hmm. how many bad things are there? How many good things are there? Where do I have to lean? Yeah. If three bad things and six good things, mm-hmm. let's keep counting this way. Right. That doesn't mean the bad doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. But instead of leaning towards the bad, because like if it's going good mm-hmm. and it's six good things and then one bad thing happened and I start leaning towards the bad, mm-hmm. I'm looking for more bad things. So, of course, I'm going to start seeing more bad things. Yeah. So, it's like once you start being thankful, bro, and then start being gracious and having gratitude you and get then more add things. that optimism. If you're happy about this cup of tea, think. just think about how good the rest of the day could be. <laughs> this tea didn't cost me nothing. Oh, like, yeah, bro. And this, oh, this, and this, what are the focal points? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Actually, that's funny, bro. It was just some hot water mixed with some dried ingredients that was sitting there. There you go. What are the focal points of the trap? Oh, don't right? tell me that. I'm just kidding. Sip, no, no, no. Sip, just kidding. But no, really. Hey, no, but a tea bag is just speaking about tea bags. I gotta put you on some on some herbs, bro. You need to get some of that 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 guaco, that uh, sarsaparilla. Um, what's it's been? It's just like tree barks, bro. And then there's like cascara sagrada, bro. These are like each bark is different. Cascara sagrada is like a it's a blood detoxifier and a heavy metal cleanser, and it's also very oh. it's slightly it's a little bitter. Not gonna lie, but you add that with some guaco, bro, and sarsaparilla, you get this. It's iron boosters. Heavy immunity, bro. You could drink that like 
See, it's a crazy thing. Sometimes it's like, bro, you don't really need food. You just need the nutrition from it. Right. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't need all, like, I mean, at the end of the day, you still got a lot of other shit that comes with the food you're getting. You know right. what I mean? So, but you just get herbs and herbs. Bro. I mean, yeah, go for it. Eat eat some food still, obviously. Right. But but we don't have to eat as much food as yeah, we do no, eat. Because bro. really, we need the minerals and the nutrition that's in the food. Bro, yeah. And most of the foods that we have are lacking in them, so oh, we're dang. trying to fill voids that yeah. to get filled by what we're choosing. Exactly, and I'm telling you, those are the, I recommend those because everyone has a major iron deficiency, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And bro, that one helps a lot. Cascara Sagrada, you can only drink that like two times, uh, uh, like uh, maybe three times a week, but only for a week, and after that, leave it alone. Only when you've been eating bad, or you've been yeah. like, you know, just fucking up. Need detox. Can... Yeah. No, and but that's like, a uh, heavy metal detox, bro. Yeah. That's something like, I feel like I think about too often. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. the fact that like uh -huh. there's so much, <laughs> things, so many things from the water to the mm -hmm. lotions to the deodorants, bro. Mm -hmm. That is just aluminum and like pretty much metal, sky bro. Today, bro? It's just like, and we absorb it into our skin. Because I was telling somebody, bro, mm -hmm. this is like technically we wouldn't need to take baths as regularly as we do uh -huh. if we weren't already conditioned from a baby. From the soaps we use as the baby, they mm. get our skin used to being a certain way yeah. and being treated a certain way. Yeah, bro. No, but that's real. You don't necessarily, the things that come out of your skin when you sweat those enzymes and oils they could, are there to help your skin heal itself and it be the way it's supposed to be. But yeah. we get in this hot ass water full of chemicals and we scorch ourselves for 10, 15, 20 minutes Basically. and then we add these soaps that clog our pores. And then we go and add lotions that clog our pores yep. and wonder why we have bad skin. And acne and all this thing drop. Yep. Trust. Oh, you on it, bro. Yes, sir. I got my kids, so I like I gotta do all that for them. And trust me, it wasn't until like they were when they well when they were born, you know, you start seeing like how detergents, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Make like, them break out in little yeah, stuff. Yeah. Little thing, and you're just like, what the fuck? And they're like, you're scared. You're like, no, oh, dude. Yeah, I was yeah. like, no, no way. You think though, I'm a you're a new dad, you know? And you're just like, what the heck? <laughs> Is this huh. the pie? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I've never seen a rat like this think, before. Think, and then you go to Google Doctor, you know, Dr. Google, and then, oh, it gets worse, you know? Silly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, bro, I got to bring you some of that. That and that, um, you know, I mean, if you, anyone that smokes, you had to get that, uh, What's it called? The uh, um, Gordo Lobo, which is just the dandelion root, bro. All right. No, I've heard about the dandelion. I was taking some supplements. I had it probably like oh, okay. two yeah. ago. Bro, get that herb, bro. You can get that stuff right here in Santa Ana, bro. Hey, Go no, to the Mexican stuff. Just get the herb. Get bro. a pound, bro. You get like a pound for, I kid you not, about a QP. <laughs> <laughs> Go get that. Yeah, hey, bro. I can't do it, bro. I back it up. Yes, no, no, I think it's not real, bro. I give it to my, I'm, you know, everybody. No, I'm I'm it everybody at home gets it to the home. Homies, like respect everybody. The homies, yeah. moms. I'm like here, bro. Like trust. I'm telling you, if you're gonna, if you're gonna fucking have anything, have guaco. Uh, like I said, sauce parilla, uh, cascara sagrada, and that gordo lobo, bro. Yeah, I just have to look these up and do a little video about them, man. Bro, those are good. I, I'll send you some. You know what I'm saying? I send you the link at least, or I'll send you where it's about that. But yeah, something bro. else that I was seeing is mullen to take. Mullen, yeah, and see, run the tops. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I was, I was like, dude, I've been on the Dr. Savvy stuff recently, so, and he's just like, nah, don't no. take more, and like, more, and it's not as, as good as you think it is, like, that's why, but the Gordo Lobo itself, and the sea moss, you know what, what about I mean? ginger root? And now, nah, bro, well, look, ginger root, it's, it's like, it's yes and the no, you know what I'm saying? That's what I've been seeing recently with his son that he's been posting, right? So I don't want to speak too much on that. But like, oh, I don't yeah. even use pepper no more. I just use cayenne pepper now. Like, yeah. So I put that on steaks. So, you know, I still eat a steak. I ain't going to lie. But I make sure at least that was grass fed and like, and I worked out good. I worked the whole thing. And oh, yeah. I, it's about know? balance, bro. It's about yeah. one being informed mm -hmm. and knowing what it is. I'm all being healthy and still eating a steak. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, this is a balance, homie. It's yeah. a spectrum. It's like, mm -hmm. I can't lie to you, bro. I'm gonna mm -hmm. eat the cookies and the cakes all day. Like, oh, bro. It is what it is. Bro. But it's like, leches, I'm gonna eat the cookies, bro. Maybe not the cake, but I'm gonna eat the cookies. I'm gonna eat the brownies. I'm gonna eat the muffins. I'm gonna eat the croissants. Like, I cook all the croissants. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm instead. eating all of that. This will finish all the cookies in my crib. <laughs> I'll pass up on a steak. I need a good double cheeseburger, especially if it's a barbecue double cheeseburger oh, with some grilled onions, bro, with a piece of guac. That's a piece of avocado, bro. Mm. It's over. Like, I Please don't let it be fast season. Like, <laughs> I'll take my fast. 
I'm gonna go through my veggie spouts. You, you, you fasting right now? I'm fasting right now, bro. Okay, well, she needs some water. Right, so yeah. I shouldn't be having this, bro. But no, hey, no, but look, again, it's a balance, bro. Again, <laughs> exactly. How long are you fasting for? Uh, it's a 21 day fast. So it's what? Like, oh, whoa, like, whoa, how'd you do that? Like, I mean, how did you at one point, how I get that? No, like, I mean, what do you do? Like, you completely fast? Are you doing the bone marrow? Oh, you mean like, do I not eat pear? No, 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 no. You gotta, I mean, I know some. Crazy right. ass stories too. You it's know what I'm, I'm not doing extreme. You do the bone marrow after? I, know, no. I mean the bone broth. No, I just no. eat, but I'll just oh. eat <laughs> certain stuff. Okay, and so it's like you just do like intermittent inner. What is it called? Inner uh, intermittent. Yeah. It's like a diet and yeah. a fast. You feel me? Okay. Like I haven't had sugar. Like all those foods I just oh. listed, I okay. haven't had since the seventh of January. Oh, okay. I haven't eaten meat. Since the 7th of January. Really? And I've mainly, so like you said, broth and stuff, the day I started, I went and I bought a whole bunch of mixed vegetables mm -hmm. and I did make a big pot of soup and I ate that for like two, three days. Oh, okay. And yeah. I don't really eat until after like Six. two, three. Oh, I, mean, two three I try to, I got to work and stuff, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I try to hold out until five. Mm. If I don't, I'll have like some cashews, an apple, a banana, something mm. real light. And then okay. once I get home from work, I'll eat something more solid, like some potatoes or like mm. some cooked vegetables and rice. Oh. And I'll do that for the rest of January. You okay. Feel me? So I wake up in the morning and I start with a little prayer. I meditate. But then you like, day, I'm sure you feel amazing if you're fasting and praying, bro. It's cool. You, you know what? Remember. I can't even front, bro. I haven't felt like... I've done this for three years now. Mm. This year is not hitting the same. And I'm going to say I don't feel like... I'm doing it more out of... You feel me? This is okay. a reflex. Then okay. actually, you feel me? I don't Man, feel like I'm dying routine to eat. Now. It became a little routine. That's all I thought. Now that I think one. about it, bro, because you didn't ask the feeling. Yeah. That that mm, that energy glow. You kind of have. You know, I kind of have the energy. You can't let that's it why I've been up so late, bro. That's uh, why I've been up so late. The energy sense. levels have kicked back in, okay. but the overall, no, no, no. I haven't tapped completely into that peace part of it. Really? Bro. I mean, man, maybe you need a slow. Hey, this is a, okay. Like I was saying in that book, uh, the one that I'm reading right now is a journey to each line. And there's like the chapter where it's like, stop. Bro, if you just read the table of context, it's insane. It's just, what? Like, I never even thought of those things. But it's like stopping the world, you know? And we have that power. But like I said, we already were been blessed. We just didn't realize no, it because yeah. of all the stuff we thought we would need to think about. You know, we were basically programmed and conditioned to, you know, due to the propaganda. And again, you know, like we... The, I grew up in fucking, you know, the, like in a block in a fucking Mexican ass like neighborhood, bro. So you're gonna get the doñas, novelas, like you know, soap operas, fucking mad cheese man, which is nothing but uh, gossip about the this and that and that. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about? A bunch about. of information and noise yeah, and nonsense. Yeah, yeah, bro. And, you know, drama. I mean, the times have changed now. The '90s was cool, you know. I'm '94, but I, I was, I was, I made bro, it bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. And hey, we looking good. Right? Hey, into that part, All right? Uh, okay. Another shot for that. Mm. But actually, now that I think about it a little bit more, mm. with me saying that this is my third year stepping into this, mm -hmm. I feel like a part of me has already just been more grounded in it for the last year. Okay, and that's part of the reason it hasn't hit the same because I've just talked to somebody about like the way I am mm -hmm. when it comes to interacting. Yeah. And I was like, well, it hasn't always been like that. Like she was trying to figure out how I stayed so calm, mm -hmm. even amidst the drama that was literally, she was telling me about it. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no change falter in my movement or my like, so I mean, I heard everything. I took it in and responded to it. Mm. And from the moment she got here to the moment after the conversation, the energy was similar. Mm -hmm. And she's like, how do you keep your peace, bro? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm I trying decided, to figure out when I'm listening to you. Like, it's like, so I decided to not let it throw me before you even started talking. Uh -huh. And so it was like, the peace that I felt when I started meditating while praying and mm -hmm. fasting mm -hmm. was something I tried to keep walking in. Okay. And so the more that I leaned into doing it regularly, the less it felt like something that was different. Okay, okay. And so is it still as strong? I don't think it was still as strong. So my answer still stands, but I feel like part of the reason why I feel that way is because I didn't realize how big of a change it already I started to make. Okay, I mean, I remember, I remember kind of I'm having a similar uh, like uh, moment, I guess you know um, when um, I was, I'm like, what am I doing? You know, am I praying? Right. Am I meditating? Right, 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 like, right. am I praying for? Am I thanking for? Am I asking? Am I giving? Like, I, I didn't. 
And then I was like, you know what? If I'm just like at that point, I kind of was on that like pray for instead of like thank for. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like right. I'm, I'm referring to my 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 yeah, full heart right there. Yeah. You know, because I'm like, wow, that came out of due to that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, from doing the things. From that doing I, put, I realized something from yeah. doing these things that made me come up with this yeah, like, way like, of looking at it. Right, like the meditation. I'm like, okay, like again, from reading all, like I've read Krishna Murti, I've read Paramahansa Yogananda, AC Bhakti Vaganda. Like I, I got like the, you know, a lot of the Hindu, uh, Krish, the, uh, what's it called? The Hare Krishna movement. You know what I'm saying? The Krishna was just another Jesus, just, you know, in another area, bro. It's like the same story told around the world. And the crazy thing is that they all existed not at the same time. Right. So, like, when Jesus was around, like, let's just say, like, periodically at the table. Or, I mean, not periodically, but, like, uh, like well, yeah, in the periods of time. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. You thought about the periodic Yeah, thing. yeah. Because oh, that's a whole other one. Right, but, but like, we could probably throw that in the conversation. Like, yeah, what's going on a little bit, no. <laughs> But they never, like, Buddha wasn't there while no, Jesus no, was there. 100%. And you not know? only that, <laughs> neither one of them were there when people were, cur- were practicing their religions. Mm. That's the biggest takeaway. Wow, I that's, yeah, that's a I good one. Like, yeah. Buddha was not a Buddhist. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the homies, <laughs> though. <laughs> it's like, I, I rock with Buddha. His yeah. mind, his thought, his process. And I read the teachings of Buddha. I read yeah. that, so I got my name, the Tao, Tao Poeta, because they spoke about Tao. Explain the Tao. You know? Well, look, okay, now, Tao, it's, it's, look, it's very different and in different places. It's not too different, but like it's the overall idea. Yeah, right. right? So the Tao, like I mean, I remember reading it from that book, you know, and I'm quoting, you know, and it was like the Tao is the force behind the universe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like what makes your eyes blink? I mean, your blood run, your blood flow. You know right, what makes right. the oxygen move? Like what people call the like universe or right, like, central, like, like the side. ether almost. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's the periodic the element that was. Yeah. Took it out of the periodic table, but Ether, that was right. an actual element. But see, I'm getting in on a whole other one. No, you good. But good. yeah, man, that's that's another thing. So it's like that existed, you know. And and, and the Tao it was just it's T A O when you spell it right. Just put D A O because people were like Tao Tao Tao. I've had them, bro. That's dude. actually funny because mm-hmm. one, I didn't realize how to pronounce your name. When yeah, I first saw it. a lot of people and did. Then two, I didn't realize that it was supposed to be the Tao, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's like kind of similar to you. I haven't read as extensively as you have, mm-hmm. I don't feel, mm-hmm. but I did read a book about Taoism, bro. Oh, okay. And Which one? You remember it Taoism. was called, I think, The Art of the the Art Taoism. Taoism? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, bro, and like you just said, you read a bunch of books and what you're reading now is intersecting with where you are now. Oh, yeah. That's what happened to me, bro, because I used to read all the time. That's beautiful. All bro, the time. It helps. But then, you feel me? Got caught up, you know what I mean? Started mm. being a teenager. Right, 18, right. 19, 20, like... Mm. I wasn't reading books. Mm. And so I walked into this store that was selling books, bro, for like, I want to say it was like 25 cents a book. I was going to say four five, books three for 25 cents. Yeah. Something stupid. Yeah. Something stupid. That's how you know, bro. It's and so I was like, that's bro, gold. Bro. 25 cents? All right, let me see what I can find. Bro, that's a hustle over on the side. I'm no, saying, 100% you know, bro. selling books, bro. 100%. $100 books, bro. I bought it $200, $300 books, bro. <laughs> yeah. And so uh-huh. I just started looking through the titles and picking books up, and I would read parts of the sleeve. And I would just get them, bro. Mm-hmm. And the craziest thing happened, bro. I found one that was called Rhythm Alchemy. Oh, oh, that sounds interesting. Bro, it was uh-huh. Rhythm Alchemy and like finding the perfect rhythm or something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, oh, this is about to help me figure out like time and cadence and you feel me? <laughs> bro, furthest thing from. Oh, I said, I bought this other book that Those was explaining the, the Tao, bro. Okay. And so this book that was about rhythm mm-hmm. was talking about the connection of time, space, music, vibration. It took me all the way back to the Egyptian towers, bro. Oh. And what people hypothesize the different methods of using those were, bro. Yeah. And then it took me into sonic, like, manipulation of emotion, bro. Oh. And how, this is what the idea in the book was saying. It was saying that the Egyptian chambers were sound chambers, mm-hmm. and they would be used for people to go through a metamorphosis, mm-hmm. which would be kind of similar to transmuting energy or yeah. transmuting an element and changing uh-huh. it to a pure essence, bro. Or just changing the person, which is also similar to what Buddha would be doing when he's sitting there meditating and, and yeah. transmuting himself, which is similar to what Jesus Christ would do if he was sitting there praying and meditating. They're because nirvana. Jesus both meditated, yeah. bro. Jesus went and found enlightenment in the middle of nowhere after mm-hmm. being in the woods meditating like Buddha. Ain't that funny? It's the same story all over. And so it's a similar <laughs> through point. 
But this is what was interesting. It was saying that they were getting people to the same levels of access mm -hmm. as a Buddha or a Jesus with the chambers by using them to amplify different sound vibration. Bro, there's a there's a okay, there's a book called the uh, I mean again, this is you know, every I you, like the book that book that I'm about to speak about says it itself in the introduction. It's like read like there's the goal will shine to the reader. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. What is meant for you at that moment. Right. And you could read this. Like, you could read this book a hundred times. But if you're not new. there, you're not going to oh. get that part. And, and they speak about, uh, it's about thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and that's, bro. And then they, they talk about the halls of immensity. Yes, bro. And, and transmuting energy to become light. Yeah, bro. It's, see, that. that's, oh, man. It's a whole nother And game. that's, again, bro, what we were talking about. And kind of, kind of what we we're talking about, but just like mm -hmm. that feeling. Mm -hmm. And you said, how are you feeling with the whole meditating, praying, and dieting? Yeah, you start to glow a little bit, bro. Oh, hell, you start to glow <laughs> a little bit, and, and, and that's when all of this stuff. You be like, bro, somebody makes this along the way. Yeah. Like, and, and you know what's funny? That not till I was literally outside your bed when I showed up an hour early, right? <laughs> Bro, it, I was like, okay, I was, you know, getting everything ready. I'm over here getting all this and that and that, and I'm like. Hold on, I lived so long, and I've never really done this till today, and I should do this before shows and all that, and I never do, you know, and like, I was like, let me compose myself, Take a like, breath. let me stop the world for Bro. that moment, and Bro. let me just like, that's my meditation right there, I'm just like, yeah. boom, all right, boom, you know, and I'm like, okay, cool, and then I'm like, all right, thank you, God, for letting me, you know, for, you know, all this, of course, and let's, let's do this, you know what I'm saying, good. boom, and I'm like, okay, and then I walked in all calm, like, oh, all right. Boom, like, you know, everything comes out, and as you should before any conversation. You know? <laughs> but it really is as simple as, like, 30 seconds, really, to do a check-in. It's like, you can just check your breathing. Because like you were saying, you hear something, and then you take three seconds to respond. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the times, we don't necessarily give ourselves to fully respond to our own reaction. You feel yeah. me? That's how you end up saying something that you wouldn't have or you mm -hmm. didn't mean to mm -hmm. because you responded without thinking about mm -hmm. your response. You feel me? And so if you give yourself three seconds, you can alter a whole interaction, bro. Yes, sir. Because if you're having a conversation with somebody and you feel victimized or attacked while you're not talking, your body starts reacting before your words even start to form. People don't know how to listen. And so you get a physical reaction. And usually if you're getting attacked or yelled at or you feel as if the person is yelling or attacking you, you're going to either want to fight them or protect yourself. So if you want to fight them, you're already ready to come back at them in rebuttal. And if you want to protect yourself, you're already tucking away or hiding. And uh -huh. depending on who you are, you might be doing both at the same time. Whereas, like, I'd rather not fight, and you are hurting my feelings. But when my feelings get hurt, bitch, I fight. Oh, right? yeah. And so, before you even speak, it's a big build up. Yeah. You already have a problem. Mm -hmm. But if you listen to exactly what they're saying and then breathe for three seconds, <laughs> you're like, you know what? I really could hurt them right now, but I don't want to. I'm just mad. Mm -hmm. You might just. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Release a whole that's negative interaction you don't, just on having that three second breath, bro. I, and 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 that's true. Like it's a trip because I I talk with my kids about that. Like uh, and you know now that I have to you know guide them. I'm, yeah, well, I've been you know, but like now they're older. They're older so they, like, you're older. They get when it, you're yeah. younger, and they were. Oh, and, and the thing is, I'll like. He just like that. He, he my son, like my oldest son. You know, he he the middle one, but he has the the like the tendency to talk back and i'm like i remember when i was a kid and my mom was like why you keep talking back I'm like what do you mean talking back what am i doing they're like just be quiet and like this is what i said oh silence is more profitable than gold because of the fact that like again when you're learning the art of not doing you know not talking back not automatically just thinking right away and i'm like well how are you going to know that you're not going to react to something you got to separate yourself right like you separate because and it's that KRS one interview that I saw where he did like the close your eyes. I don't know if you saw that one. Oh, and say the word. Yes, and, and you still see head. it, but seeing it gets seen by yourself while watching yourself see that, and it just endlessly goes in a hall of mirrors, right? So it's like I had to like break that. One thing I read in the teachings of Buddha, you know, like to become like even like a, a you know like a a monk, you have to know how to explain or or a yogi. No, this one was from Osho. That's right. But um, you have to learn how to explain the the you the universe to a five year old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so to become that. So it's like 
<laughs> that's and, and usually the guys that do that are old as fuck. So it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's like they had a long time. Yeah, but it's to like work on that analogy because it's it's, <laughs> dog, it's a thing you gotta make your own like art piece too. Like the uh, what is it called, man? I don't want to do it's, it's not the Dharma, is it? The, the ones that they make those. Uh, I don't want to disrespect it because again, I, that was I read so many different ones that again I just no, get inspired yeah. and like, bro, I, uh, I stand. Bro, and that's why I tell people I'm like, I'm speaking mad loose. Bro. Right, right. Whenever I'm talking about any religion, mm. I'm speaking mad loose because yeah. I'm not a follower. It's interesting, you know. There's so much. Yeah. It's like Christianity, I feel as if I can speak strong before because I was literally born, raised, bred in the church bro, for over yeah. 20 years. Yeah. Deep, bro. I've read the whole Bible. And you see, the one thing is that, okay, now, one thing I, I did pray for way back when I was 15, like 16, when I read the Emerald Tablets, and I was just like, well, I'm going to pray for anything, and I remember reading about uh, King Solomon, and it was just like... Wisdom. And he prayed for wisdom. And I named my much. son Sol Amen. You know, it's it's Sol Amen. Um, it and that's his, I mean, it's it's a whole... And he's the one that's the most, you know, like... He's just, yeah, yeah, bro. He's, he's already he got, knows. he knows something. Yeah, yeah. Put that and, in him. And then in order to get wisdom, what do you have to do? Well, I mean. You gotta see. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like, oh, he just, he's a reflection of, like, my brother and my son. My little, the youngest one. Oh, dude, this one. He's like, I see you guys fucking up. I'm not going to do I'm that. not doing none like, of that. He knows how to ask a question. You know, it's like, <laughs> he, like. He know, and most people don't know how to ask. Like people, oh, like man. again, like you gotta know how. To, if you want to get that, like the homie was saying at the other day, but we having discussions like this the other day, two, three a.m. stuff. You know, just with the, you know, with the homies. Like, but the the fucking compadres at the crib. You know, we're talking about some dope shit just like this. And then the homie, you know, he brought a good point. He's like, and if you really like, really the answers like you said, they're loose, right? Like they're. I mean, we just the the conversation can go anywhere, but the question is was gonna like. Be the, no. right, you know what I'm saying? The center of like what's gonna create all that, but what's like you, you're gonna get anything you want if you ask the right way, you know what no, I'm saying? Yeah, bro. So it's just like, okay, and then he, the little one, just knows how to like, he'll be like, the older one be like, Dad, can I go play right now? And he's like, No, we gotta, I'm like, I gotta go, we gotta go do this, this, and that. And then the young one right after be like, Okay, after we're done doing that, is it okay if I use this? I'm like, Yeah, <laughs> because it's like, <laughs> you, yes, you understood no, that we gotta do this first. But like, you know, but now he's upset because he got told no. He's happy and looking forward to the next two hours because yeah. after the next two hours, you feel me? And it goes back to, <laughs> Are you gonna look at the good? Or you gonna look at the bad? You feel me? And he's like, Look, I'm not even concerned about what I can't do and if it's good or not. Once everything is good, I'm gonna do this, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Bet. Yeah. Let like, me know when it's good. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I'm Let me you. know when it's good. Yeah, and, and I, I gotta I, when I but like like I was telling you though, just to end that part, um, with my with so like I have to like this is how I broke like how I broke through and I was like. Look, right now, because he's always just like, he just wants to talk back. And he's already, but, but, but I'm like, look, bro, like, let's, let's separate Super Soul and Soul right now. And right now, let's be Super Soul. Super Soul does what? He does all the dope things that you, you know, you can do. Like the things that don't get you in trouble, the things that get you what you like, the things that reward you. Be that guy right now. Because so the, the other Soul right now, the one that's, you know, he's just, he just, he doesn't know yet. So he's still learning because that's what makes you think questions. Like, that's what makes you ask questions. Like, so he's always going to have something to say. So you have to separate him and the one that knows. And he's just like, okay. Like he kind of, like, gets a little lost in But then he's How like, okay. He's, uh, he's about to turn 10 now, though, you yeah, know? Yeah, nah, that's why he's a little lost. Yeah, it's because he's, like, he's in the, like, he's really, like, he'll get it. And then he'll, like, kind of, like, experiment. And then he's going through, like, bro, they got Snapchat already. They got Fortnite. It's a whole different no, way of... the attention span, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you were different. saying, yeah. And just the things that you have to take your attention, it's like totally different, bro. And it's mm -hmm. so... It's everywhere. You go mm -hmm. from real. your pocket to the TV, the video game. Yeah. You walk outside, especially in Cali, bro. You don't just got billboards. We got digital billboards yeah. everywhere, bro. So you see five. Literally, bro, I was driving down the freeway and I see an ad and I'm trying to read it and I see three more before yeah. I get out. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Out by the Citadel, right there, just doom, 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 Girl, doom, doom. <laughs> going on three sides, yeah. like, the front and the side. You like this is what be causing all these accidents, my dude. <laughs> all these billboards, and they happen right you, there too. It's <laughs> four lawyers for accidents. Oh, right there, right there. You have them, oh, motherfuckers. Hook, line, answer. I'm sure you know a number oh. by now, bro. <laughs> That's oh. real though, bro. But I mean, shit. Well, and it's crazy that what's going on with the music now with all that stuff though. Like how 
I don't know if you noticed, but bars are bars are coming back, but they've been back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I hear you, but are they complete? Black, black dog. Oh, the East Coast got it's. The East Coast never it. lost the bars. No, no. the music lost the East Coast. In my yeah, opinion, I, I feel like the East Coast at one point wanted to just gang bang too much. You know and what I'm saying? As somebody who's from the East Coast, yeah. it depends on what part, bro. Because like, if you go to New York, you don't have bars for forever. That's the yeah. heart of hip hop. That's so that. there's too many bars yeah. to say they don't exist. Exactly. It's just what was catching on was all the Yes, that's and then true. drill took right, off, bro. Right. And there's no diss on drill because mm-hmm. drill is an international. You feel me? The UK yeah, it's is everywhere. on drill, it's bro. Everywhere. It's LA everywhere. has a drill scene, bro. It's and just that so trap. That's that what the East for, started yeah. becoming known for was the drill side of trap shit. Yeah. You feel me? Because the South was running it with just trap. Yeah. And then drill trap, you feel me? And so it's not that the bars weren't there. You're it's right. that the attention the attention wasn't there. Was taken away. And then the attention right. and what was in other places was more about getting attention. You feel yeah. me? It's like no yeah. disrespect on the South and to down no. ever say there's and something hard. The but I so many you dance know? hits, you feel me? So many party Strip records. Club, bro, bro, bro. And so they was hot. Everybody had to match energy, bro. Mm-hmm. And so the game started becoming matching that energy and the hype and the fun. Yeah. Which the bars not everybody can make hype bars or yeah. fun bars. You feel me? That takes a special person yeah. to do it. And so Drake, oh, wow. Mm. Drake tried to do it here and there, but we all know Drake is in his lane. Yeah. Drake's not really caring about the bars, the hype, none of that. Drake's in his lane. Yeah. This is yeah. how I see it as an artist who appreciates Drake from before he was even signed to Wayne. Mm. I watched this nigga whole journey, bro, <laughs> like this. And so once I started getting disappointed with the music, I had to sit here and say, are you really disappointed with the music from a dude you watched for 10 years without any hesitation, knowing it was going to be fire? And then I just started looking at the genres he was dropping in, the collabs he was doing, mm-hmm. and the accolades he was acquiring. Mm-hmm. He's not worried about hip hop heads no more like that. He knows he got them. He wants to see what he can do. Mm-hmm. And I respect that. Mm-hmm. And so with him being a forefront of music, mm-hmm. everybody was also trying to sound like that, bro. Yeah. And he his bars on the party records and the hype stuff and stuff like that is different. Yeah. And so it's like, it's not what we think about when we think about bars. And that's why it seemed like the shit just got lost, bro, because it got lost yeah. in the mix. I know, like, trying to borrow on the 8 a.m. track. I like the and beat. And we do those 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Bro, all of them be gas, bro. Like, when he did that, I was like, okay, that one was cool, but Baby, I feel like he, yeah, was, like, he was reaching out a little too much, though. You wow. don't think so? And this is the thing. I'm not going to say he be reaching too much because... Just like, on that one. No, that's the only one I ever, like, I can say. I got to hear that one specifically. The, the, like, I'm like, okay. Which tape is it off of? It's uh, the the... the, the the one with the sun that he drew the the, the All right, back, back. right. So it's the 8 a.m. one. And like, bro, I don't listen to like other people's music till like two months later, bro. Cause I'm yeah, just, yeah. you know, we busy. I heard that, but like, you know, like he, um, he, he says a lot. Uh-huh. I was gonna say I gotta listen to it again because I've heard it. Yeah. But none of the bars seem like too big of a reach. And I just say this because Drake talked yeah. a lot of shit, bro. That, no, no, I mean like <laughs> I, I meant like like it's like okay, like okay, you know when uh okay, have you heard uh OC's Time's Up? Mm-mm. No, oh man, like the way he starts it. You lack in minerals and vitamins, ions and the niacin. Like that's literally how he starts, right? And then it's like uh, he says, "Fuck Cruz, and other rappers." Uh, I, I, it's like that famous sample that's been used in the enemy. It's bro, the whole track is just like about what, what literally. If you bump that shit right now, it comes at an eight mile, bro. It's that one where he like choked to that beat. That's right. the beat he chokes to. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but he, bro, that track he just explains like, okay, like uh. You know, like one of the bars he said was like, um, uh, that day you said you killed that dude, but you was at church with your mom. I know, see, that's a lie. Like, cause, uh, and what else does he say about that? He says, uh, the whole song is fire, but he, like, this guy's bars are just kind of like, uh, very, they just come out naturally. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying hard. It's just like, it's so smooth. And like, some of those I feel like it's like, oh, the, I got the mic and it's enticing. And I'm like, okay, I get what you're saying. You're referring to Mike Tyson, but I'm like, uh, it's just it like, uh, I'm like, uh, what is that? That's not really a metaphor. That's just kind of like you're just filling in a, a space with some shit that kind of sounds um, witty. You know what I'm saying? See, that's one thing. I appreciate the wit. You feel no, me? Uh, like, but see, the witty, witty that's uncontrollable clip, that's like Wu Tang, though. You know, Wu Tang is like the witty, uncontrollable mind. Like, uh, what is it? So I'll say this uh, when it comes to a whole bunch of wordplay, mm. Drake's not always going to give you a bunch of wordplay. Yeah. But he'll give you bars. You feel yeah, me? But that's the thing. He's, Look, dude, he's giving me some bangs. The bangers crown, crown is in pieces and most is in my possession. Uh, that's dude, hard as fuck. That's hard. 
That's what are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. That was, and again, Drake fucking... You feel you me? It's like, like what you school, saying, you know? Because it's like, sometimes you'll be listening to something, and yeah. you'll be like... I just listen to that song a lot. Like, yeah, because like, okay. it's not necess- his bars aren't all punchlines. Yeah, they like, don't set up punchlines a lot of the like, time. The, the, but he'll give you eight bars on top of each other yeah, with yeah. no punchline. No, for, I feel and that's why I seem yeah, like he's yeah. reaching because you're like, bro, you just said a whole lot of shit, bro. But yeah, it, it's just like I, I didn't mean like reaching and like like how, how can I put it like maybe it's like it seems like it's not it seems like effortless like it doesn't yeah, seem like, like maybe you should have thought like you you could have done that a you could have did more, that could have made that a bigger a little dumb, yeah like, you could have made that harder like you could have executed yeah, that in a way that because that, that's hard because bro listening to with the mindset of bars even with post malone bro post malone said i'm not a rapper what you just what Dude, you feel me so it's like people i mean like, i get what he's saying though he's like that's just one of my many traits you and know? see no he was saying he didn't even want to be considered in the category necessarily in the genre yes yeah, like I, the music yeah. sound like you can consider it that but that's not what i was doing it was like right. bro come on now it's like i to a certain extent i hear you yeah. but if it's perceived by everybody as that mm. the representation and branding behind that was that yeah. until you decided it wasn't when does it become you not doing that or you lie to the people or like, what is this, bro? So it makes it feel like a game. It's a hoax. And that's what it feels like okay. a lot of the music is becoming is a hoax of a sound. But it's like that part that Jay-Z said when he's like, I'm not a businessman. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a business, business man. No, like, 100%. Like Jay-Z said, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. Mm-hmm. He can say, oh, I'm not only a rapper and I don't want to be categorized as a rapper. No, I made I'm some rap music. <laughs> you know he yeah. said, I'm not a rapper. Nigga, you won a rap award. <laughs> categories of rappers. Yeah. And then telling them, you don't even do this. I'm That's actually disrespectful reading his... to the people who let us <laughs> and want to be known as a rapper. That I'm reading his book right now, <laughs> actually. The Jay Z book right now. And dog, it's hard. They said, again, the homie Lambert put me on, bro. He got me the gift to me the Nipsey book. I recommend you read that one. That That's uh, the Rob Kenner one. The, the, I think that's, like, that's his name. Yeah, the. But it's on with Nipsey's face, you know, when he's like turned to the side. Uh, I'll send you the the pic, the link to it. Oh, that's a dope book, bro. You love that because it's it's everything we're doing. Like it's all the the independent hustle from the bottom to the top, and you get some pretty cool details that you just whoa, you didn't hear in the news, you know. Oh, for sure. But then I went to the Jay Z book, right? And um, bro, this guy, like I mean, Jay Z's though, we all know that, but right, like right. it's it's just the way he like. You know, I didn't know how he started Def Jam, and it was because play, labels wouldn't play his his tape when he made the unreasonable the reasonable doubt. Yeah, you know, people wouldn't play it because he's talking about some high class like trapper stuff without before it was called trap. You know, it was no, like, right, right, right. You he's know, talking was, money, bro. He was talking, talking business. There you go. He was talking business over rap records. Yeah, and like from the street, like you know, what I'm saying like it's a whole other like. I mean, it said some cool stuff right there when he was like, you know, he went to uh, he slept, he was trapping, you know, I mean, he was working, you know, making his thing. And then he let that go to go tour with uh, Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, was it? Yeah, Big yeah. Daddy Kane. Bro, he been on the scene. Yeah, but then he just like he traded money to stay on the for a spot on the tour bus floor, you know. And then he like, yeah, he did shows. He got out there, but then he's like, nah, I, this ain't cool. Like, I'm gonna go back to the to the business. Yeah. yeah. And then later on, he's like, man, like that's how he met, uh, you know, Dame Dash. And then yeah. they started like. This dude had the plugs. This dude had the money and the idea. Yeah. And then they, he was like, well, let me get you there. And, and, and you know, that's yeah, how it happened. Put a band, they put yeah. It in. And they make Rockefeller records. <laughs> the only thing about Jay-Z that I feel like a lot of people don't realize is just like, yeah, he's a billionaire and he's done so much business. This man came into the business already able to fund his business. Yeah. You know, so, come on now. And so you like, don't know when I came in. And so a lot of people... Win. I came in a million dollars in, bro. You feel me? Like, this nigga is like, like the greatest I ain't money, bro. Not to be exact. Like, <laughs> bro, and so it's like, people don't necessarily <laughs> listen to that and oh. hear what he's saying. That's damn alone. You don't know. It's like, yeah. that's where you wrong. I came into bro. a motherfucker who didn't be strong. Not to be exact. Oh, oh man. Bro. Exactly. You know, like, all my family is from like that, though. New York, bro. So, like, my mom oh. saw him before he was even on that status when he was just quarter yeah. boy hustling, yeah. bro. Oh, like the head like, 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 like that. You feel me? But once I started like bumping him, she was like, "Oh yeah." I mean, and she gave him his props, like all of New York do. And she yeah. was like, I remember before he was even doing all that. Like That's I used to walk by him sleeping on park benches and shit. What? I was like, huh? 
Like, run that again, bro? She was like, yeah, like, she's a little older than him. I was older. crazy. So, so she's like, yeah, that you was were meant jam. to be part of this culture. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, this is Flav a... Flav used to flirt with my auntie and grab her booty. Like, <laughs> real school, bro. Hey, so that's how I took a TV show and stuff. Yeah. I my aunt, but, oh, my God. I'm so sick right now. <laughs> and I got older. And I was like, are you sick because you did? <laughs> or are you sick because he ugly? Which one? <laughs> Bro, but yeah, bro. Oh, my mom even told me, she's like, LL Cool J? She's like, mm, LL Cool J ain't get sexy when he got famous. He been look like that since he was like 14. Damn. I'm like, nigga, what? Why are you telling me that LL Cool J is sexy? Like, yeah, what, wait, what, you, what was your answer? What the fuck? They bro, were in the city, you know? Bro, they were in the past time. Bro, you feel me? They was in the cut. Middle of Bad Stuy, bro. Brooklyn. Bro. Hey, party. shout out to your tears real quick, bro. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, shout out, man. That's, you know that's and these are the, like you said, Mm. When I hear those stories like that, I'm like, bro, if they can do it, if my own family, bro, listen to this. <laughs> Here you go. My go. oldest aunt, she was playing, you, you got what I need. Yeah. She's like, you won't believe what I did for show and tell my senior year of high school. <laughs> Nigga, she bought Biz Markie to class. What the fuck? <laughs> she bought him to class, bro. And make this nigga beatbox for the class. Mostly rappers, what the fuck? What bro, the beatbox? Beat 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 Rest in peace to Bismarck, you know? You know? Yeah. But it's like New York, Brooklyn, bro. You got to think of how many rappers are from there, bro. Oh, wow. You 80s, 90s, bro. Everybody. So that's when it was getting on. So when it was in high school, you feel me? 12, 14, 16. Man, okay, so I can kind of, by then, I can uh, kind of date the time. You feel that, me? Uh, yeah. Let me find out your fans at the Cool Her party, bro. bro Let I'm me find out. Yeah, for real. And, and I, uh, that's that's a beautiful... I've been to New York. Uh, I went there. I, I mean, we didn't get to go deep into Brooklyn. It was it started snowing pretty bad. Yeah. But, it, dude, honestly, I got to... I was able to rap out there in Spanish. I got... Bro, it was like, we were getting the... We were getting texts on the weed... After the homie, <laughs> after the homie <laughs> right away, you know, you could tell hustle from a hustle right away. No. Someone that, that's on their money, you yeah, know. Then right true. away, we're like, yeah. okay. First, it was like, you know, we we were kind of like, you know what I'm saying? We, we were, it was cold. We we're kind of like this because it's we're just kind of like, all right, bro. So a whole bunch of foods. I'm not saying we just like, okay, we're gonna tuck in our chain. No, no, no. I'm just like, okay, you're in the spot where you don't fuck. You don't know what's going on, bro. Yeah, you don't know what's going on. I go there to get weed right away. Like, hey, dude, let me get this shit. And he's like, all right. When we start touching, like, hey, fool, what the fuck? Like, don't touch me. He's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can tell you're not a fit. And I'm like, go, don't fucking touch me, homie. Like, that's you know? Crazy. But right away, but I'm like, you okay. See, I just got offended. You know how I went there? What? Hey, but that's how I found out about you. Oh, about the story. I found the story. Like, this nigga started touching you. Yeah, that's so nasty. All right, right, my bad for being a cop. And I'm like, no, homie, like, like, back up. What the fuck is me? But yeah, but I'm like, but I'm like, wait, I'm not in, like, I'm not in my area. You feel me? I'm not going to act. Yeah. I can't. I'm like, okay, I get, I respect. Like, if they pull up and turn around, we're here. Like, motherfucker, maybe you should start doing it. You know what that means? But. Dog, it did. But it is a so you know we we get some herb from some fool and then you know we we just like right away my homie starts connecting with their people. I was just kind of over here just kind of watching the whole thing, you know. I was very young at the time, like a lot. It was just like it was like what six years ago, Best. and uh, so I was like, okay, you know, my mind's all active. Like, all right, and I'm just, I'm, 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 gonna play, I'm gonna play the back real quick. But, but I see everything. I'm gonna, you know, like yeah, yeah, it's like that. But then once the homies got comfortable, then I was like, okay, let's let's do it. like and then because we saw the other homies fucking pull out there, so I'm like, oh, these ones is fucking, you know, they bought this. So we start talking to rappers too, you know. So I'm like, oh, I rap like, and I'm, around this time I was already getting my independence in my my whole label stuff. I was establishing the label, so I was like all on the whole ass cap and oh yeah, we gotta get your sound exchange, bro. You gotta get the ISRC numbers, bro. You got all that. So the these ones are just like. What is that? <laughs> and I was like, okay, we got to talk about that next. Yeah, bro. And I was like, okay, well, and then, here we go. And I was like, well, look, bro, you know, it's your, it's your brand and you need, this is your social security music, bro. You need an yeah. ISRC or your, the, the number, everyone is different, you know, it, it, tune core, everyone Depending on what I, you're doing. Yeah, they got the IP number, the, what is the like, IPOs? The, oh, see, that's another, there's so many different, like, codes and whatnot. I mean, but they are required for certain things. No, you know? for certain things, you got to know yeah. what you need to, you, you need to know what you need to know. Yeah. Things. They basically track your music, or right. like, they make sure you get all your royalties and not being played somewhere without your awareness, right? right. Like, so, you get, yeah. So, I, again, I was explaining all that to them. 
And they were like, Dad, I didn't know none of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for sure their homie knew what's up. Like, no, somebody in the group group. knew what was good. Yeah. Bro. Like, yeah. But the thing is, sometimes I feel like a lot of people, because, like, bro, I'll be in a room with 10 people, and mm-hmm. something like that'll come up, and I know exactly how to register all mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. Am I about to sit here and coach all 10 of these people? And sometimes you feel like a dick. That makes sense. You feel yeah, it's, it's like, how do I sit here and tell all y'all, y'all don't know none of this? They're not and asking at the same time, you feel me? Yeah. And, other, and sometimes when you start telling people how to do and how to get things done, mm-hmm. they think that you feel like you know it all. Or they're yeah, like, yeah, all right, yeah. well, if you did it, why aren't you? Yeah, why are you in yeah. this room with me then? I'm like, well, because it's like, 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 we talk about business. You want to yeah. handle business. Mm-hmm. These are the things that get the business started. This, like, before you have business that's bringing in the money, you gotta have a paperwork to even mm-hmm. register the business, too. Mm-hmm. This is how you register it. Exactly. Like, I might not be bringing all in all the funds you think I am or should be. All that, yeah. But shit, bro, I need to register my business to be able to accept the check. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what I was telling them. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was telling them. And that's what I feel like a lot of people just don't get because you don't know. Yeah. Is, for people who don't go to school to be in music yeah, or take recording classes yeah. and all of that, it's like nobody's telling you what you need to do other than make good music or how you should make your music. You feel me? So but, it's like, oh, by the way, that, you got to want to. Did you know you could get all those free courses on Coursera? Berkeley, Berkeley uh, teachers will, right. will do video. Like, they have a whole, it's already done. The whole lesson's are already done. You can go and do it for free. That's dope. And if you want to get the certificate, you pay the fee at the end. And you take the test and everything, you get, it's a you free class. That, I'm going to send, and I'm you not, get, it's, not not it. yeah, it's not just music. Yeah, it's not just music. It's, Everything that exists oh, as a fucking and living, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's dope. Bro, dog, that's trust dope. me. And I'm telling you, that's what got just an hour a day of bro, you know, learning yeah. the business I'm got learning. me better weed in New York. <laughs> <laughs> so what, once you started telling once I started telling them, they're like, hey, you, you know, know what? Let me get that bag back. He's like, here, take this one. This one's a lot better. He's like, on top of that, take some of that one too. And I was like, okay. Like, and I was like, let's go. Twice a week. But you know, they... I mean, no, like you on. said, you niggas was hustling, bro. bro. Play me. No. <laughs> like, was, I wasn't getting played. Trust so I wasn't me. mad. You don't see fools out here in, in, New, in like, L.A. I mean, L.A., maybe, yeah, you still... Oh, yeah. It's, 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 not like that. Not, not like, yeah, 3 a.m. fools are already out. Almost. They're yeah. at the club or But home. it's also yeah. different out here, bro, because I feel like niggas out here is aware of niggas out here, bro. And that's okay. Here, but that's I'm not going to say are so scared, it, But they, like, nigga, if we not outside to handle nothing... Bro, we man. just gonna stay out the mix, and I feel like that's because I I have family who's like, bro, what's it out like? What's it like out there? Like niggas really be banging, bro. Like, and I'm like, yes, niggas be banging. Do niggas bang on me? <laughs> no, niggas, because I don't put myself in a position. So it's like I haven't been in positions because niggas know one where not to be and what time not to be there yeah. unless they're already on that time and that action. And Makes niggas sense. also that I've been in the presence with that bang. And might even bang separate shit. <laughs> if we in the same building, it's on business, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the text in your face, bro. I know your music, nigga. Who don't have to tell yeah. me you bang? We yeah. came here to get money. Yeah. And so that's where I'm like, nigga, yeah. love, you sound stupid. Yeah. We yeah. here for business. Yeah. If we was outside on that street at that night, yes, it's 10 o'clock at night and we came here for this event with red carpets and cameras. Yeah. These niggas is not trying to fuck up a check. No, no, no. no. You and you don't want to be around people that's gonna fuck it up for and you. And that's why they just get separated yeah. if they are on that time because mm-hmm. they bang, bro. Because it's like, look, bro, we can't just act the same in every environment. Yeah, and and you know, and and that's where you know again, like the game banging. You know, it's 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 a beautiful thing, and at the same time, it could turn very very nasty. And I feel like most know? niggas who are serious with this shit uh, know that. Yeah. They respect how serious it can get. Yeah, you know. And so they're like, I'm not going to turn up and flex just to show off. Yeah, because at the end of the day, bro, like, I mean, you, you know, the, the whole culture, you see it. Like, not everyone's always like, you know, unless you really got that fucking hatred and that no, beat, yeah, you know, that you know, asking that fools, you know. But, like, most of the time, you know, you catch a fool slipping, you, you know, fools get jumped. And then they just beat his ass up and you let, like, that's it, homie. Like, you know, go back. They're trying to they just humiliate you. My fucking strip your ass naked, send you back to your hood, <laughs> get a video of you saying, fuck my, you know, fuck your, my hood and shit like that. And then they just, that's all, this is humiliation. Then they let you go. Everyone like, fucking homie, get on your way, dog. Like, you're, that's it. That's, 
Uh, you know, like most people don't think about that. Again, people are like, no, you resort to just stomping no, that fool out till he's dead. Like, yeah, I feel like no, that. bro, it doesn't. Like, trust me, it's it's got, it's like almost carrilla, you know, it, which is like basically it's just like the it's just like the like fucking with you in a sense, you know. But it's like why? Because I can, you know what I'm saying? No, you to take it to and a you got backup now, you, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, getting coach is a lot more than just that, you know. What I'm saying? No. it's not. It's like it's a whole family, bro. Like in my hood, you know, in my neighborhood, we do like we do a whole bunch of cool stuff, like you know what I'm saying? Like it's. They're like one of the things that we we've been you know doing a lot more is working with the homies, the little homies, you know that, right, are, that right, are, right. are starting there. Like hey yo, like we be doing you know like the events there, you know what I'm saying? Like the donations, like the food drive. I mean the school drives, the Christmas drives. You know like all the the events that we've been doing in the, in the neighborhood with the with the homies, my partners. Look, bro, we gotta get on topic. We, yeah, I, I that's about none of that. Yeah, yeah I don't know what I'm saying in that. Like, like so so we doing that, and we get the little homies involved. You know like hey like okay like hop out with a chair pool like you know here. Help with help the tables out, like, you know, because, uh, again, sometimes, like, you know, back then, at least you would help somebody carry the, you would see, like, the donjas carry a bag, no, hey, yeah. you stop what you're doing, like, let me help you out, because that's no, your yeah. neighbor, like, that's right, your mom's right, friend, right. she took care of you when you were a kid, or took care of your little brother, it you know, just a certain level of respect. Yeah, and right now, it's not like that, so it's like, we had to, you know, right now, it's like, okay, we got this thing, an idea where it's too cold right now, we're supposed to do it sooner, but again, things happen, bro, and like, but now it's like, it's coming back where it's just, we have the the ladies there because it got to the point where the, they were so afraid to even be outside because the kids didn't know how to act anymore. And the, all the homies were the the fools that were in the middle supposed to be guiding were all locked up, so there was no guidance, just a whole bunch of just like loose banging. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. no structure. And it, it you know what I'm saying? It happens in a lot of places when there's no structure in general. It's just oh, like okay. you know, it's kind of crazy because you see it in one street. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? I'm seeing all this happening right now. And then, but then you like, okay, well, let's connect it back, like. What, what would make you go back home? You know what I'm saying? Well, shit, my mom, you know, they would call my, the lady upstairs would call and be like, hey, your son is down here, you know, just fucking. He's having people paying attention. Yeah, but they're like, oh, he's being, you know, he's just fucking around. Like, okay, then your mom would call you or be like, hey, get your ass over here. But see, that's like, it's not neighborhood watch watch, but it, it's just it's like simply, taking care of people. more just being a community. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're looking out for the kid that no, doesn't know what that they what need that, that. kind of boils down to is I feel like people just have a little less. I don't necessarily want to say empathy, saying that they don't have a feeling towards it, but people don't feel the need or the right to intervene in people's lives. Like, yeah, well, and and like most people don't even know how to honestly. And, and that, that might be another, sometimes. That might actually be another thing. We're not mm-hmm. actually capable of it mm-hmm. anymore. All right, so we we should have been talking about music, but the conversation has been beautiful. Beautiful. But let's just ask a couple of questions about it. So how long have you been working on your label and everything, bro? Say, so, well, I mean, that's. That got it fully established 2018. All right. Um, and the funny thing is, I just, bro, it's one of those I just kind of didn't know what I was doing, and I just bought it because everybody in the neighborhood, like, there was a, thank God, there's people that are very artistic in my neighborhood. There's yeah. a lot of rappers coming out of the neighborhood now. Of the and Orange County in general, there's a lot of music popping up now. But um, at the time, you know, there was a lot of people that were like, okay, it's 700 block this, you know, like 700 block records, 700 block entertainment. Everybody's trying to name the something. and I'm just like, I mean, 700 Block Records is just stamp official, you know? So I was like, man, everybody's trying to get the name. I'm like, but no one's actually going that way and officially hey, buying the LLC. Yeah. So I went and registered that shit, bought that shit. Didn't know what the fuck to do after that. <laughs> how'd you find out how to do the LLC work and everything? And then, okay, so then that's when the home, again, look, when you do, that's a cool thing, man. When you get synchronized with what, you, what you're supposed to be doing, again, you follow that path with that heart. You know, you do everything with heart. Um, it's like the Nemo current, bro. Like you, that Australia you just keep swimming, just yeah. No, you get in there and it just like, boom. Yeah. It just, but that's the Australian current that like, no matter what, like you gotta be ready to get in and get out. At like uh, there's turbulence in and out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But like once you're in there, you're like, oh shit, this is like, oh, this is how y'all living. Like this is what fucking creators that actually do the shit do. Like feel, oh okay. Like again, creating, you're always gonna be like, you're gonna feel every emotion that every minute. Especially when you do something and it doesn't get what you want, but then it gets what you didn't expect. Not right? that part. You get so it's like, so now I'm running like the, the label properly, you know, and then I ended up well, learning what to do and all the, the paperwork and the taxes and all the codes. And you got to learn all that stuff too. You can't just, you know, again, I didn't know you had to pay $100 a year. I didn't know you had to like Bro, make a certain amount. You don't have to do that everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's, and that's, and that's another thing. Then the label itself became, uh, we started making clothes. Then, you know, we started uh, just getting artists that we want to fucking bring on, you know? 
and then eventually getting to opening stores. And then, like, before you know it, you just started to be a rapper. Now you're fucking running clothing designs and fucking throwing shows. And now you're bringing people. Like, you become everything at one time. But you're like, oh, you wanted to rap. Like, bro, <laughs> you know? Bro, isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. But being able to pull it off is such a beautiful thing because it's not even what you got into it for. Mm -hmm. And so once you step back and you just said all of the things that you're doing, mm -hmm. you're... You're like, wow, like, it yeah. feels good to know that you could accomplish something. Yeah. You when, feel me? Yeah, when you take that step. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. It's yeah. like, and I didn't even know this is what I was about to do. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, real, man. What was the first, like, record that you dropped? The first one. Ooh, dang. Um, well, I mean, the, the that was one of several. I mean, I want to say the first one that dropped was, uh, no, it was the other one, the Truth Be Told track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a truth called song called Truth Be Told, and man, you can still find that stuff on YouTube, you know? You can still find it. When did you start making music, like, period? Period? Bro, since I was a kid. I mean, look, like, realistically, when I started writing was when I was, like, 15. But I always was writing little things, and it was like, oh, whatever, you Like, know? you didn't take it, like, I'm, I'm a rapper, I'm yeah, writing songs. Yeah, not till I was 15. In your notebook, and yeah, nah, bro, I feel you. Mm -hmm. so I started rapping the first time ever, 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I start yeah, writing yeah. stuff and like yeah, yeah. eventually like thirteen. Yeah. When did I start keeping a notebook and this yeah. is a rap notebook? <laughs> okay. Now you feel me? It was it took some time to that go would from be like when I was oh this is cool. Boy. You feel me? So yeah. by the time I was what thirteen, I had a notebook. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, see that's cool. Stuff. I was like I'll call myself a late bloomer on the shit. I didn't really. I didn't get a notebook. I would use my phone. Yeah, but I didn't know what instrumentals were, so I used to no. just rap over like. Big L's beats with Big L talking over it. Bro, and that's I would so much mute, practice. I would mute that for a while and just be like, oh, and I would just like, literally, I didn't know instrumentals existed. I didn't that's know what funny. the fuck that was. That's funny. And, then, and, and the cool thing is, again, like, once I actually started, like, writing stuff, you know, on my phone, though, and then I would show the homie, like, hey, bro, check this out, check this. And they're like, yo, you're actually pretty good. And I was like, okay, cool. And then, again, you do one thing and it just brings the next, bro. That's how I met my first producer. You know, and like around that time, I was just wanting to make beats. You know, just like let's just make beats. Everybody wants some dope, dope sound, and then homie's like, "Bro, shout out to my boy Dolls, rest in peace." You know what I'm saying? But man, that's the dude that told me, "Hey, you know what? You dope, you nice with the beats, but uh, like I, I, I'm the one that's making the beats. Like I think you're better rapping for real. Though. You're better rapping." And then I thank God he did because then all right away I was like, "Bro, that's where I brought me here now." You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So yeah. shout out to him every time, man. <laughs> Oh, you um, um, how long did it take you from starting to make music to putting out the first song? Uh, honestly, bro, we dropped four tracks in one day. <laughs> the first time you the, like, bro, I appreciate that. The, That's dedication. We didn't know we were. We didn't yeah. know that there was a, you know, oh yeah, there's a, a, a algorithm, you know. I mean. You're not still supposed to necessarily worry about the algorithm. Yeah, we, I mean, that was... Yeah, was Instagram was barely popping. I mean, yeah. when, you know, I mean, when you were starting off, like... We didn't know about that. I said, like, what are you like, like, how old were you? I was like, well, around that time, I was at... Uh, that, when, by the time I did release, though, was... I was at about, like, uh, what? Maybe, like, 17, though. Yeah, or 17, 17. Yeah, bro. So, 17, we the same age. I think SoundCloud might not have even been out yet. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't think SoundCloud um, came out until I was like 18 or 19, bro. You know what? You uh, put music up on YouTube. That YouTube, would, that yeah. Would, did have. YouTube, and then there was yeah. this, uh, what was that? There was a space for it. Ah, mm. uh, Groove? Groove what? Tube? Nah. It, it doesn't even matter. Uh -huh. It doesn't even matter. But, uh, uh, okay. But yeah, I mean, that's how that, that one, you know. Came but since, it. like, starting and everything, what do you mm. think has been the biggest, like, gem to getting you to where you are now? The biggest gem, like you mean like the the jam? Um shit. I would say the experience, bro. Like, you know, just actually following through with your plan. Like you 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 gotta make that plan. Like I heard it in an ASAP track, but it's just make that plan, stick to the plan, finish the plan, you know what I mean? And then after that, because of, while you're doing it, you're gonna think of so many like Man, I should do it like this then. Like, it's like right now, you can be like, maybe I should switch it here. Maybe I should switch it here. It's like, no, no, no. Just finish how it is. Let it be done. Then after that, for the next one, you're going to have a lot more things than you. I mean, if you would have done it as the moment you thought about it, then you would, again, you're stopping the rest of the things from hitting you. So you got to let that happen. Let it, again, the art of not doing You would normally, well, then now you're not. And you do different, you, you get different. So it's like, okay, 
You know, you're doing that. It's like, okay, well, let me, I usually would say something right now, but let me hear this and let's, then it happens. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to do it differently. You know what I mean? So that taught me so much. And then after that, I mean, that's, that's really, you just got to put yourself in there and actually handle it. You know, well, the biggest thing is to start with a plan and execute that set plan mm -hmm. before you start adding to it. Mm -hmm. Don't deviate. We don't man. have to do this again and actually for real. <laughs> that's the music side of the thing. This thing. is like not catching up. You no, know, sure, man. Just understanding each other more because we've known each other for like two years now. Yeah, bro. Yeah, this yeah. is the longest like open ended conversation we've had. Yeah. <laughs> Conversations, but it's like it's been centered around something. We'll deviate and get back on topic. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, it's like this was just an open. Exploration. Number love. Like, no, hey, I already know. Bro. Oh, I already wow. know. Bro. So, all day. But yeah, uh, like I said, I got a gift for you. Oh, what's right that? here, bro. Some black onyx. Let's throw that on right there. Boom, oh, let's just go. <laughs> and gonna take this last shot. Oh, let's do it, man. Hey, thank you for having me, bro. Oh, bro, thank you for this falling through. Honestly, this is dope. Thank you for spreading some knowledge, bro. Thanks. <laughs> My uh, dude, bro. Hey, number love. Love, bro. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tapping hey, in. Thank y'all. Like a wonderful episode of Sake Sundays. I'll have links <laughs> all in this YouTube video for all types of stuff from this Buddha pot to mm -hmm. getting the sake, the jewelry, to the books, and the links he was talking about. Yes, yeah, so. so, follow me, Dr. Poeta, 700 Black Records, hey. all that. <laughs> Yo. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking uh, <laughs>